Hello YouTube, Shizny Gaming here. Relatively short video, not going to be edited because we are not playing Kerbal Space Program this time. I just wanted to do a, uh, a quick little uh, thing that might help some people out. Now for those of you who are like me and you know, use Ferrum Aerospace Research, you might have noticed that in recent updates since point thirteen point one for Ferrum Aerospace, th uh, they reintroduced aerodynamic failures. Now this was because with the point two three point five KSP update, they uh, rewrote the whole uh, Unity th uh, thing involving uh, the joint structure node system and whatnot. Basically, meaning that the the joint structures are much, 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 much more rigid, much stronger. Right? They found an error and they fixed it. This made it so fair amount of space you couldn't randomly disassemble from aerodynamic forces. Now, the author of fair amount of space he was like, "Well, pff, I don't like that. I want you to be able to rip your wings off if you know do something wrong." That's actually kind of cool if you ask me. But I didn't like it. It made space planes way too difficult for me to do. Like, it was just, it was chaos. I tried to pitch up any of my wings get ripped right off. So, I looked and looked and looked and found a way to turn that off. And if you have the toolbar plugin as well as FAR, you can bring down this white button, uh, configure visible buttons, select whatever one is FAR debug options, close. Now, it only occurs in this scene, you know, where you're looking at your space center. Click the FAR debug options and you get this window. Now, you can see, uh, Part right click menu, uh, debug slash cheat options. The part right, right click menu, uh, you display aerodynamic forces. This will show your drag and lift. Uh, coefficients will d display different uh, numerical coefficients, and display shielding will say, uh, I believe it'll tell you if it's shielded or I, I don't know. I have yet to see what that does. Uh, debug slash cheat options. Use splines for supersonic math. I have no idea what that is, but allow aero structural failures. You want to turn this off. Now the reason it's under the cheat options is because it ruins the realism of it a bit. Uh, it's, you know, it makes it easier because you don't have to worry about overdoing something and ripping yourself to bits. But at the same time, for certain items, it's really handy. Now, another thing, if you don't want to uh, turn this off, but say you have a problem with your rockets, your uh, radioisotope generators keep getting ripped off, right? I mean, I've had this happen many, many times. They just get ripped off from aerodynamic forces on, you know, when you're launching. Go to part classification, and you'll see this list of items here. Now, don't, you know, get too concerned here. Just look at these tops, or right? Greeble. Parts with low orientation, unaffected drag. So this means that they produce drag no matter what way they're facing, and the drag they make is low. Title contains, right? So if, if the title or the name of it, you know, contains uh, any of these words, it's going to have this effect. Uh, modules means that if you have the actual module name, it'll show, you know, something else. Exempt parts that do not get an FAR drag model, right? So what you're going to do is you want exempt for your radio list of generators. You can add plus. You're going to click on here, type in whatever it is that you want to uh, add in. Make sure you're, it's the modules, not the name. I couldn't just go uh, nuke generator thingy. That's not going to find it. I would actually have to dig into the you know the, the files and figure out what it is that you know it's doing or what sorry what it is that you're trying to make exempt now you can also go specialized modules this is good for if you're trying to mod and make your own uh, cargo bays or fairings that's really good for that aerodynamic failure this is actually uh n nice if you want to modify the aerodynamic failure uh it's you know if if you don't like the way it is but you want to keep it and atmospheric composition it just sort of edits uh the atmospheric prop sorry property of uh there it's not going to make it visually any different but it's going to, you know, it's going to uh, edit just how the atmosphere interacts with your vehicle. Now, I like to turn off aerostructural failures and display aero forces. That's familiar to me. I like it. It's, it's awesome. Hope I could help someone, and stay tuned for other KSP gameplay videos.